Are you a real coffee geek who wants to know how to field strip your Orphan Espresso Lido 3 hand coffee grinder? I'm going to show you how to do that today on FrenchPressCoffee.com. Hey everyone, I'm Brian with FrenchPressCoffee.com. Thank you as always for tuning into our channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Orphan Espresso Lido 3, how to break it down, take it apart, clean it, replace parts, and some other important things you need to know about the device. Now we have reviewed the Lido 3 before. It's a really impressive hand coffee grinder, one that I think is uh, definitely becoming very popular with a lot of folks because it's easy to use, it's really durable, it's still portable, and it does give you a really great coffee grind. But there have been some difficulties that folks have run into with it, specifically with cleaning it. And we've also had questions about replacing parts with the Lido 3. So I'm gonna show you how to essentially field strip your Lido, break it down, uh, take it apart, clean some certain parts, and replace parts, and we'll talk about the whole device. So let's dive right into it. One last thing to mention before we get this started, this is going to be a long video, so settle in, grab a cup of coffee, and come on this ride with me. Firstly, on my left-hand side, I have a newer Lido 3, and the big difference between this Lido and the other one that I have here, you're going to notice is that this Lido has a stainless steel grounds jar. Previously, the Lido had a plastic grounds jar, so if you have one of the Lidos that had the plastic grounds jar, you can get the stainless steel grounds jar at frenchpresscoffee.com, and if you buy a new Lido, you should get that stainless steel catch jar with it. The good news is you only need one tool to take the Lido 3 apart, and it is included with the Lido. This is a pretty standard hex wrench. Uh, and one thing that I'm going to mention is that you may also want to have a right angle hex wrench as well. The reason for that is that when you're taking the Lido apart, the screws for the Lido, and there's four screws that surround the bottom of the grinder here, and then we've got, whoops. <laughs> And then we've got four screws at the top, and then also a screw in the center and one at the bottom. Uh, and those screws can be a little tight when the device is new or from the factory. And in order to get those to loosen up, which can be a little tough, because this little wrench will fit here, but it's a little hard with your fingers to get these to loosen up. Mine are loose because I've taken this device apart before, but I did find that on first taking it apart, I did need to make use of a right angle hex wrench, and I'll show you why. This is a new Lido right here, as I was mentioning, and I just cannot, I can't get the torque that I need to take this apart. So with a right angle hex wrench, you can pop that in and you can get that little bit of extra torque. I don't know if you heard that, just kind of pops. And then after you've gotten it loose, then you can start to use your hex wrench to take it apart. So while this tool does come with the Lido, it's very important that you get yourself a right angle hex wrench, but these are very easy and inexpensive to get. But that's the only tool that you're really going to need. So I'm going to break the Lido down and we'll show this to you in fast motion here so you can check it out. But before we dive into taking the whole thing apart, we're going to talk about taking the bottom half of the Lido apart. And that's important because this is going to refer to cleaning the device. So let's start with doing that. So again, what I'm just going to do is after loosening these four screws that are on the bottom of the Lido, these are just above the catch jar and the adjustment ring right here. After I've broken those a little bit with my, my right angle hex wrench, I'm just going to loosen all of these up in order to remove this part of the body. So I've removed all four screws from the bottom of the Lido here, but you're going to notice that I can't yet take the whole thing apart very easily. But before I can completely remove this bottom half, I need to firstly unscrew my catch jar, which I've done now. And then I'm going to find this silver screw and washer, and we'll take this apart as well. Now, as you take your Lido apart, make sure to set all of your screws aside. You don't want to lose any of those. Make sure you set them aside in maybe a bag or a little container or something along those lines. Now that I have removed those screws, I can take away the entire adjustment ring for the Lido. This is the complete assembly. The screws went into here. 
and I'll show you that in just a second. And then this also allows me to get at the burrs. However, I can't remove the burrs just yet because this part of the grinder is actually going to be kept in place by the stem here that is on the, on the burr. So I need to also remove this other hex screw that is on the top of the unit. And this can be a little fidgety. Again, you're going to need to hold this in place. And you could do this in either order that you want. It doesn't necessarily need to be done in any specific order. But take this one out and this screw, this is an important one because it is longer than any of the other screws. So just keep that one set aside and keep that in mind as well. Okay, so with that done, that will allow me to take out the entirety of the burrs and the entire shaft right here. So we'll set that aside. When I do this, the top, the handle for grinding is going to come off as well. So you see we've basically already taken the device just about completely apart. Here's a quick hack. I'm going to put all my screws in my grounds jar. All right, there we go. So let's talk about cleaning the device. This is very important because this is a difficulty that we've found that some folks have had. Specifically, if you take your Lido and you run water into it to clean it, this could be potentially problematic, and I'll show you exactly why. We're going to take apart our adjustment ring right here, and this just screws apart. And I should mention that on the middle adjustment ring, there is a plastic ring. That plastic ring faces downwards towards your grounds jar. Just remember that for the future when you put the device back together. So I've taken apart the adjustment ring. Now take a look at this portion, which attaches to the coffee bean catch jar on the device. If you look right here, you can see that rust has started to accumulate inside of it. Now, I wouldn't have seen this if I hadn't taken it apart, but this could definitely be bad down the road. This could lead to degradation of the device. Potentially, that could get into your coffee grounds. You don't want any of that. So, what we suggest is don't run water directly into the device and then leave that to dry. If you do that, that water can pull up over time and it'll cause rust, you can see, to uh, build up here. And then I also have some rust that has built up right here on my burrs. And there's some water staining. Water staining, not too big a deal, but rust could definitely be a problem over time. There is a brush that comes with the device. This is included with the Lido, but I also have some extra brushes right here for cleaning the rust and etc. Now, hopefully your Lido doesn't end up getting rusty, but you can use a brush to clean that ring. Use a little baking soda as well, and you can clean that rust away. So this is already starting to get a lot more clean. And of course, you would want to take a little bit of time on this. Now, if you do end up having to use water to clean any of these parts, you would want to quickly wash it and then dry it. And specifically, if everything is taken apart, that's going to make it a lot easier because then these parts aren't going to sit uh, put together with water pooling up and gathering inside of the small parts of the uh, device. And then that way you're not going to run into this rusting issue. And that's really important. If you were to let this sit for quite a long time, that could eventually lead to the device just not being usable. And something I should really mention here, this device is not dishwasher safe. First of all, do not take your entire Lido and pop it into the dishwasher. You just don't want to do that because even if you allow your dishwasher to use a heated dry cycle, first, that could be bad. You could melt the plastic. Second of all, that heated dry cycle can still potentially lead to this rust buildup. That water, if it starts to dry very quickly, again, you're going to get that staining and that rust and et cetera. So do not put your Lido into the dishwasher. Take it apart to clean it because you can see I would also need here to use my metal brush to clean the burrs of my Lido. So this is already starting to look good. This device is not beyond repair, but it is very important to note that you need to take your time when cleaning it. And if you don't allow water to pull up as this one uh, was allowed to do, you're not going to have that rusting issue and you should basically just be able to use the standard brush to clean off the excess grounds, oil, and etc. And this is gonna make it a lot easier to extend the life of your Lido. 
I should also mention that you can take the top metal ring of the Lido off as well, and this is the same process as I was showing before, utilizing that hex wrench. And again, you'd probably want to use the right angle wrench to break that seal just a little bit, and then you can take this apart. You probably don't need to do that, I would say, uh, but it doesn't hurt to take the time while you're here to go in, use your brush, clean away the grounds. And this is one of the situations where you could run water through this because now everything is taken apart and I shouldn't necessarily run into a situation where water is pulling up. But still, if you run water through this, make sure you knock that water out and get it nice and dry before everything goes back together. And all the parts that I have right here that are part of the Lido, you can find at FrenchPressCoffee.com. So if you have found that maybe one part has gotten lost, or you have run into this rusting issue and maybe it's not usable anymore, you can get all those spare parts at FrenchPressCoffee.com. Now let's start putting the Lido back together. Putting it back together is going to just be the reverse of what we did, taking it apart. But it is important to pay attention to a few different uh, parts as you put them back into the device. Now there's an important note here after having placed the inner burr into this metal ring, which is that you're going to notice on this metal ring there's a little indentation. This indentation is going to match up with this little square piece right here, which is on the metal ring that then pops up and onto the inside of the body of the Lido. But you can't just simply put this metal piece directly into the body of the Lido to start off with. You're gonna want to take this metal piece, line up that little rectangle with the indentation, and it'll just kind of lock in. And then after you've done that, now locate your blue hash mark. And this blue hash mark can then match up with the word Lido. Everything's going to sit flush then, and then when you put this back together, when you screw it back together, that means that everything from the plastic body here and the metal is going to fit together properly. And this is important because then the burr will sit properly in the device. So now let's go ahead and screw this back together because we lined everything up, and we'll pop all of our screws back into the body of the device. Now that I have put those four screws back into the body and then into this ring of the Lido, I'm now ready to start putting the rest of the device back together. I'm going to take my second, my inner burr and the shaft, and I will now pop this inside. And this should then immediately cause the shaft, the top of the shaft, to come out through where my handle will eventually connect. So we're going to first just pop that through. Then we will take our middle adjustment ring, and remember this plastic ring is going to face downwards towards the catch jar, and we'll screw this on. Just take your time with it. It takes a little bit to get started, but once you get it on, it'll go on very easily. That plastic ring is now facing down. Now I will take my large adjustment ring and screw this on. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm now going to take this silver screw and washer. And we're going to pop this in and screw this into the center of the burr shaft. Just get it finger tight, don't wrench down too hard, just get it nice and snug. And now the device is mostly back together, we can take our catch jar, screw that on, and then lastly, we're going to take our handle assembly. And this part, I'll make mention of this, right here, this is keyed. You can see it's got sort of a half circle, and then this mark here is going to match up with the shaft which has this little piece cut out. So you can't really do this wrong, you just have to take your time to get it placed so that the handle is properly attached to that shaft. And then once that is done, this is where that longer screw is going to come into play. Take that and screw it right down there into the center. Perfect. All right. 
And there we go, now it's back together. You can get back to adjusting the device if you want to for the purposes of grinding. Of course, you've got your rubber cap that will pop into place when you fill the body with coffee beans. And there you have it, my Lido is now put back together and ready to start grinding. Now, as I mentioned, all of the parts on this device are replaceable, and you can find those parts at frenchpresscoffee.com. So, now that you are a total geek about your Lido 3, you're going to be able to take it apart, keep it clean, maintain it, and if you do that with this device, I think it's going to last you a lifetime. It's a really great grinder, it's made very well, everything fits together really nicely, and as long as you pay attention to some of those little things that we did mention, I think you're going to find that you'll be able to field strip your Lido 3 with your eyes closed, or at least pretty close. So there you have it everyone. Now, do you like the Lido 3? What do you like about it? Tell us in the comments of this video. Tell us about your favorite way to grind coffee. Tell us a joke, say hi, whatever. We'd love to hear from you here at frenchpresscoffee.com. And remember, find the Lido and all these spare parts at frenchpresscoffee.com. As always everyone, I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time and take care. If you liked that highly caffeinated video, why don't you give us a like? And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. If you do, I'll give you an awesome coffee quote. Go on. I'll wait. Oh, there you go. Well, thank you so much. And now for a coffee quote, which I'm sure all of us can relate to. Given enough coffee, I could rule the world. <laughs>